Alright guys, we're back at the spillway today. Uh, temperatures in Tampa, they're starting to drop. It's getting cold. Um, we got a lot of wind today. Uh, so the first thing I thought when I woke up, let's fish the spillway. The water here is a lot warmer because it's mixed with the fresh water. Uh, the water is brackish and I think the fish are going to be in here. We could get into a tarpon, a redfish, snook. Uh, I've been seeing gar around lately too, so hopefully we can uh, get tight on a fish. Stay tuned guys. My rod tip super low because I got broken off on these buoys so many times. No way. What the hell? Holy crap. I just got broken off so fast. Nice red, nice Frozen, uh, frozen greenback. We're fishing for tarpon, but I mean, obviously I'll take this this bycatch any day. Wow! I'm gonna have to get in the water, huh? Yep. Are you kidding me? By the way, go guys, sit over here. It's a little bright. Guys, if you ever got braided line and you got to get rid of some of it, throw it away. Don't throw it in the water. Look at this. It's bullshit. Come on. Pretty guys. Here's that redfish. Uh, keep it rolling. I got my bag of frozen greenbacks here, and I didn't really chum today because I don't have a whole bunch. I usually chum a whole bunch. If you guys look at my last video fishing at the spillway, uh, I cut smaller pieces up and chum it to get these fish fired up. But today. I figured uh, we got a really good tide. Air temp is dropping, so that means the water temp's dropping too. And I, I felt the water here, it's really, really warm. So uh, I'm guessing these fish are just stacking up in here. That's a really nice fish. Let's get him back. Ready? All right, guys, releasing this big red fish. Gonna let him, he had a long fight, so I'm gonna let him get nice and revive. Vans are trashed, but it's all for you guys. Trashed. Alright guys, I just want to give you a little rundown on the gear I was using to, to land that fish because that thing, that's a big redfish, and uh, he was pulling really hard. Pan over here really quick. If you guys see these uh, these iron wires and these buoys underneath these, you can, you can see on this one, underneath that one you got oysters. And I was crouched there when I was fighting that fish. If I didn't get that rock tip low, it would have scraped under these, these, these buoys, and I would have gotten broken off. So uh, having a, a nice bigger setup, this is a 5,000 on an extra heavy 8 foot rod, having a bitter, bigger setup to land these fish is huge. I mean, it goes a really long way, so uh, don't come here with a 3,000 fish cup bait because 